Alright guys, in the past you've definitely seen what we built, whether it's a big B-17, whether it's Megla C. We've built a lot of big airplanes and also our community has as well too. Uh, big, huge, half-scale Cubs, but you haven't seen much of what our amazing team did. And right this gentleman to my right is actually the pilot of the B-17, but he's also an amazing builder. This is Jason McQuiston. What do you got today? Alright, so one of my favorite all-time warbirds is DC-3, C-47. This is constructed out of fan fold foam, one inch thick foam ply, four by eight sheets. Most of it's built up. A lot of it is block, a lot of sanding, a lot of carving, a lot of putty, sanding, finish. A lot of work, year and a half, but uh, uh, my dad and I, he, uh, he did a lot of the work too. So when I, when I was working and, and doing laps at the lasers, he was home sanding and painting and uh, here we are, ready to fly this for you. There's something really special here. Not only is our team members passionate about making airplanes, whether it's three generations of McQuistons here, uh, but they're also passionate about flying as well too. Wait till you see this airplane. It is a work of art, and this is actually gonna be its second flight, right? So the first flight, I guess I can't see, but the first flight, it was just ta fast tacks. Just a hop, hop, skip, wiggle the wings. So this is kind of its maiden. Yeah. All right, we're gonna so here we go. This is, uh, this is Saturday, uh, Wings Over Edgewater, an event that basically Jason is running. Uh, we're gonna put this up. If this all works good, we're gonna get the maiden. We got three other airplanes here. We have Megalacy and the half scale Piper Cub, which is modeled after the Simple Cub. We're gonna put them all up together and see what happens. Um, so yours, man. All right, let's do it. Let's arm up and go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is uh, plug the receiver battery into the tail. This airplane comes apart in five sections tail, top the vertical fin, each wing panel, center section, just to get it in the trailer and to get it in the house. So we have four receivers, one on the right elevator half, one on the other, right wing, left wing. Each of them take their own uh, separate little 850 milliamp three cell battery pack. The aircraft flies on a pair of 12S LiPos Nanotechs. So flight time, I'm guessing should be 12, 13, 14 minutes. What's really unique about this, there's no rudder on this. This is all differential that you're flying this yeah. which means yeah, this is incredibly simple and light. So Jason, you're gonna be taking this off here. We're gonna be watching your maiden. I can't wait to see this. What's your plans? Okay, so we're just gonna pretty much go from here. We're gonna taxi out, turn left a little bit, which will be right into the wind and uh, hit the power and go. I love it. Do a few uh, circles and uh, get some trims knocked out. See what we got. We got a really special treat for you. Michael Bixler, he's on the Cinelifter here with a DSLR camera. This is an amazing Cinelifter uh, from Get FTV. We've been loving it with the big projects. This is gonna be its biggest project that's flown after to date. We can't wait to see it. All right, let's do it. All right, here we go. Now the weight on this is only what, about 52 pounds? 52 pounds with batteries for takeoff, which is exactly what I wanted. That was the goal. So we could fly this at any AMA event without the hassle of a special waiver. All right, we good? We're good. Right, here we go. Is yours. On the roll. Oh Woo! my God! Yes. How's it feel? So far, it feels all right. Just cleared the trees. <laughs> <laughs> we got a nice big open field right in front of us here, and we always do our best not to fly over any house. Look at that, people. We're at, we're at half throttle. Oh my goodness. Now, what kind of thrust does each one of your motors put out? I have no idea. It's just big, right? <laughs> What looked right? <laughs> it did. Well, it's flying right. Oh my gosh. So Jason's the pilot of our 20 foot B-17 and what this captures with the speed and energy, but also gentleness is incredible. It flies just like the B-17. Really? That is gorgeous. Look at that. Perfect time of the day. Yeah. That is gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I, that's the first trim I've heard you put in the whole flight. Actually, that was my uh, throttle. Oh, really? Timer. Just the center yeah. section? I'm so I'm so low on throttle setting that it's actually kicking my timer off. <laughs> yeah, you're below half right now. <laughs> I need to I need to raise that up a little oh bit. I, so one thing that's gonna be really cool. This is gonna be coming to Flight Fest this year. Flight Fest is gonna be June 22nd through the 25th. 
it is an amazing event for the whole family. You get to see not only planes like Jason's built, but you can build your own and learn to fly as well as a weekend with you and your whole family. And we really want everybody to be able to enjoy this hobby and get into this hobby. One of the common barriers to entry to events like this is oftentimes they require something called AMA insurance. Because of our FTCA safety guidelines and a waiver system, AMA insurance is not required at this event, which makes it more approachable and affordable than ever. Please come out and be part of this amazing event. It's an incredible celebration of flight. And that is beautiful. It looks just like the scale thing. I can't get over the power it has. Yeah, you have no problem. You could pull that really steep. You're just flying scale, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Beautiful. To see such a big airplane at Edgewater is incredible. For safety reasons, because we have a lot of people spectating here, Jason keeps on the far side of the runway. Yeah. You know, one thing people think a lot of times is because it's built out of foam, because it's home built, uh, because it's not fiberglass exotic or even expensive, it can't be safe. Yeah. And that is absolutely 100% uh, false. And the reason you're maintenance here is because you actually want the bigger runways to fly, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Just a little bit of security, get the things you know figured out, yeah. and uh, before we go to flight fest and yeah. have a much narrower runway and a lot more people. Yep. So one thing I want to encourage you guys too is when you see this amazing technology, when you see people building amazing stuff, if you're part of a club, don't be afraid of foam, don't be afraid of electrics. They're incredible, they're safe, they're easy to fly, and it's inspiring. So make sure you welcome them into your clubs because we want to see all clubs grow, uh, not just places that accept you know small home built electrics. And, and, and really, the, the whole root of this project was to just show everybody that you don't have to have like a big thick pocketbook. It doesn't have to be sophisticated. This this is just basically a typical. You know, Master Series 72 inch program. Well, you programmed yeah. it. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, basically, you can build this stuff next to nothing. Yeah. Just using foam, hot glue, tape, regular household items. If so, you guys would like to see some of the techniques he's can use, please feel free to leave that in the comments. Maybe we can make a tech video on the techniques he used because the cool thing is, we've worked with foam board, we've worked with hot wire foam, we've worked with now fan foam. Mm -hmm. We want to show all those to you so you can use them, make memories around it. So we're we're not done here. We have three airplanes. We have the evolution of so many different techniques. We're gonna put them up together in a monster gaggle. Ready Sounds like it? yep. I'm gonna go drag mine back and go again. Awesome. All right. So if you guys are new to flight test or you haven't seen it, this is what we affectionately call Mega C. When we got our new machines from Hotwire Phone Factory, we wanted to learn how to build off of it. So we went ahead and took a legacy and we blew it up to almost 18 feet. Mega C has been an amazing tool for us. We've dropped Flurkins from it. We've dropped Bullet Bill to attack tanks from it. And we've also flown in a ton of other times doing really, really crazy projects. But we're also gonna be flying with our good friend Lincoln. Lincoln built a half scale cub, which has an 18 foot wingspan, but he did it in the same format and function and look as our simple cup. So this thing looks hysterical. It looks like a big old tinker toy flying through the air. But again, it's another great example of how foam can be an amazing solution to get in the air with something big, extravagant, but yet affordable and approachable. So this is ready to go now. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get Lincoln up in the air. I'm gonna get up in the air and then finally Jason is gonna get in the air and we're gonna do some fun passes. So Jason, myself, and Lincoln are gonna be flying here. We got David and Jason behind us. They're gonna be spotting, they're gonna be helping us out at any point. And we have a whole bunch of amazing people here at Wings of Edgewater. Uh, we're gonna take this in. Uh, Lincoln's gonna go up first, get it trimmed out. I'm gonna go up second, and then finally, Jason, you're gonna close the show. Yoo hoo! All right. All right, Mikey is up in the air. Ready? I'm rolling. All right. Here we go. Come rolling. <laughs> How's it feel, Lincoln? Fine. <laughs> it's, it's just like a simple cup. <laughs> Are we, okay, should I just get up? Yeah, I'm not bad. I'm sorry, I just got excited. Rolling. All right, Jason, wait, uh, wait for uh, this guy to come down real quick. Okay. You're good to roll now. Go. Go. All right, Lincoln, I'm gonna circle around with you, buddy. All right, I'm just poking along. I got a little trim. All right, low pass. Somebody on top of you. All right. Go ahead, Jeff. Nice. I'll break right, okay? Where are you going, Jeff? There's to your left, Jeff. Pick it up. I love it. All right, Jason's coming down through. Jason, I got Meglesy. Okay, I'll take it five by five. How's that for scale? It's a work of art, brother. 
All right, Lincoln, do you want to lead or do you want me to lead? Yeah, I'm gonna try you. Well, depends on the speed. I, guess. Hey, I think I'm a little faster than you. I'm gonna get in front of you, okay? All right, slow pass. Slow pass, make it big. All clear. All right, I'm gonna cut hard and get behind the, the DC3. <laughs> So we got a huge shout out also to our good friend, uh, Jason Jason and Spooner. They're chasing our planes here. Jason, I'll cut short and uh, you come in right behind you. Okay. We'll get here sometime this afternoon. Wow, we're way over everybody. I'll do a little bit of a higher speed on I love this. There's something about seeing these monsters in the air. There you go, Jason! What a great bird. That is beautiful. So Jason, I think it's safe to say you're actually a little bit faster. I'm carrying about two-thirds throttle. Look at that form. I'll stay on the outside here. Alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna throttle back and do a real we'll be, see how slow we can go. Alright. Dang, Lincoln, you're doing great with that bird. Landing, guys, next pass. All right. We got no, Next pass, he's coming in. The wiggle lag, I like it. I always love the wiggle lag. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to <laughs> All right, I'll come down right there. there. I'm off to the end, guys, so I am not in the way. Awesome. I'll put her. I'm gonna put the flaps down. I'm gonna see if I can roll out short, okay? Oh, and Dave, I may need your help to uh, to get it off the runway. All right. All right, landing. Oh no, I'll get there eventually. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> all right, we got two down safely. Yeah, yeah. Lincoln, it's all you, buddy. Alrighty. No pressure. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Awesome. Fred, thanks for being part of the Flight Test family. Again, June 22nd through the 25th is going to be Flight Fest. Please come out and join your families with our families as we celebrate flight and make members of each other. Jason, great meeting you. Yeah, thanks. It was awesome. All right, we'll see you next time.